Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how I created my own DirecTV satellite dish for only about $20 less than that. It was the price for the LNB. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. This video does not cover how to get free DirecTV or something like that. It only covers how to get DirecTV programming through your DirecTV satellite. So, it involves creating a DIY satellite dish, and why this is appropriate, number one, because you're saving about $70, because DirecTV charges you so much for their own, like, slimline or 18-inch satellite antenna dish, when I could just be making my own DIY for about 20 bucks from things that are probably going to be in the house, such as wood, screws, and stuff like that. This video is already done with the project, I'm just going to be instructing you how So, this is my satellite dish. I know it doesn't look that professional, but that's really all it is. So it's just the LNB and just a tin. A tin that reflects the sun from the, uh, the southern sun. Um, that's where DirecTV is around there. As you guys can already see, I already have a DirecTV Slimline satellite. But, you know, that one doesn't have a good signal strength. And you just create a new one for about 20 bucks. So I'm going to instruct you guys on how to create one. Now this is about a 10 to 15 foot um, structure we're sitting on for a slim one. That's why I really didn't face it that much higher. You know, you can see the elevation, but you know what? It is what it is. So let's get right into the bit. All right, everyone, so we're up on the structure. So um, our direct TV DIY satellite is pretty easy to create. I didn't do anything to screw it into the surface. I just used some tape, Gorilla tape, and that's not gonna be permanent though. We're gonna end up having to use some screws with some uh, holders, but you know, it's not that bad. So let's see how it works. So this is the best I could show you guys. There is a slim lot, I mean, there is the dish right here. And this is basically the tin. It's rusted, but it still picks up a signal. And this is the uh, um, LMB. I can't really show you guys that. All it really said was dual LNB. So we got a cable coming down here. This is an old-fashioned um, antenna cable, but it still does an antenna. So yeah, it can only fit in that dual LNB is too much. So I'm gonna show you guys what we need for the project. You're just gonna need a nice piece of wood. You know, this one's not that big. I just cut it in half from the store. You're gonna need another smaller piece of wood and a screw to put together the bigger wood with the smaller wood. Next, you're gonna need another uh, screw to put the, um, right there, you can see that's a screw. Put the um, tin, um, sort of, uh, the tin closer to your wood. Now, if you wanna see what I did to connect the both screws, I just use an old fashioned um, connector. As you can see, you guys can probably see that. I, I, you can't see it that much though, because it's a tall satellite. As you can see, I have it. And it just connects to one of these poles. As you can see, this is the um, metal pole. And I put one of the screws in to the uh, LNB, and I put it right into that pole. And I also put the um, connectors to the pole. It's hard to explain, but that's all there is. After that, I just ended up aligning the dish. I didn't actually line the dish yet, but I think that should be good for now. I just probably put the thing, I put the LNB in the middle of the um, tin just so that we could get as much sun from the southern sky as possible. So yeah, as you guys can see, notice that my slim line actually faces that way as well. So I just judged that because this is facing that way, it would probably be the same measure. So yeah, this video. It's actually not going to be uploaded for a long time because I still have to explain how we're going to use DirecTV to get free programming. I don't actually have DirecTV yet. So this video is going to be a continuation next time when we actually do the programming. For now, it's only going to be uploaded. So this is going to take me a long time to upload. Expect at least two months because I don't have DirecTV number one. I just, get my, I just got my dish set up actually. And I don't actually have DirecTV yet. And number three, you know, I don't have a receiver. I actually bought a receiver yesterday, so it should be coming in soon. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys can create your own satellite dish. If you have any questions, please comment them down in the description. As always, goodbye by Cardboard Guy. One to five days of response. Self-explanatory on how to create it.
any questions again in the description i'm here i'm here i'm here any questions and that's my satellite it looks like a real satellite and it looks very professional too